Every Lincoln's birthday, the Republican Party holds its special Lincoln Day dinners addressed by a major politician if they can get one. As Republicans are celebrating in 1950, their big guns are being sent to Chicago and New York and Los Angeles. And you can get an idea of what Joe McCarthy's status at that moment was, that they sent him to the Women's Republican Club in Wheeling, West Virginia. And no offense to Wheeling, West Virginia, the person who gets sent there to talk is the person at the bottom of the totem pole. Joe McCarthy's Senate career from 1946 until 1950 is one of repeated failure. No one is expecting him to win re-election. So what is most extraordinary here is that the most important speech in some ways of that generation is given in a place where there is a sense by the people who sent him there that nobody really cares what he has to say or is going to listen very hard. The expectation was that McCarthy was going to give a standard boilerplate speech that you give to uh, you know, Republican constituency. In Wheeling, West Virginia, they really weren't sending him there to make headlines. He comes out and says that there are 205 communists in the State Department. Well, that's electrifying. It's so electrifying that people are almost distracted from the question of who these communists are, whether they actually exist, why does McCarthy know this and other people don't? It's, in a way, a kind of brilliant speech. We are the most powerful country in the world. We're the most influential country in the world. And yet, we're losing everywhere. We're losing in Asia. We're losing in Europe. We're losing technologically now to the Soviets. How do we explain this? And what McCarthy does in Wheeling is to explain it by waving a list saying, we are being sold out by traitors. Joe McCarthy is traveling through the United States on his Lincoln Day tour, and reporters keep coming up to him. Say, Joe, do you really have the numbers? Are there really that many communists? And Joe would say, well, you know, let me go through my papers. Uh, I think we've got some names for you. He realized he had a thing going. He would found his shtick at last. He called back to his office and he asked his secretary, are we getting any publicity? And she said, we're getting a lot of publicity. His secretary described him as being almost intoxicated with the joy and excitement of getting this much attention for a story. What is really interesting about Wheeling is that it takes a while for it to sink in. Once the attention starts to mount, the public really began to sort of link on to the fact that, oh my God, this guy has done his research. This guy has names, this guy has numbers. He has really gone in and scrupulously looked for information. He's doing research. McCarthy had no list in his hand. He had nothing in his hand. And it was a fraud. 